The Help is a touching tribute to bravery and friendship in the face of racial injustice. It's also a beautiful reminder of the power of food to comfort and unite us. Today, inspired by Minnie's recipe, we'll be cooking Southern Fried Chicken. Fried chicken just tend to make you feel better about life. At least me anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Film to Table, where we explore the relationship between favorite films and delicious dishes. Join me in the kitchen and let's get cooking. Today we have great filmmaker, good friend, Roger Melvin, who's been working on this show, but on the other side. On the other side. Yes, it's been nice, it's really a treat. Thank you very much for having oh, me on, on this you. side of the camera. I'm excited to talk about the movie The Help. It's not one without some controversy. When you have a, a scenario in which you have a white screenwriter and a mm. white director yeah. telling a story about a primarily African-American yeah. cast and African story. Set in the 1960s. Very much so. You're dealing with uh, white socialites of the day, primarily women and African-American uh, domestic workers. Mm -hmm. It's gut-wrenching in some of those scenes. You see yeah. the racism and things that are dealt with in the day, but you also see how food plays this role of bringing people together in yeah. the midst of yeah. some really hard, tough issues and circumstances. Yeah. I don't know too much about frying chicken apart from cutting it up and throwing it in some hot oil. I want to make sure it gets done right. So here we are. We have our, I guess, 10 pieces there. Now if you want to slide those spices yeah. over. I think this is up to you, right, really, when it comes mm. to spices. The key yes. ones really are salt and pepper. Salt. Yes. I don't do a whole lot of sprinkling with the salt. I really want to lay that thing in there. I'm going to lay it in there. Yeah, just, you know, want to get it all going. I've always marinated like a buttermilk or milk or yogurt or something like that because it actually helps break down the protein and soften okay. some of that texture. In my house, we use uh, an egg wash. We may add a little hot sauce, give it a little kick. You do that to your own personal tastes. And some of these secrets are closely guarded. These are family secrets come down from, from Big Mama, from Great mama from grandmama from your auntie your 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 mother and you don't get access to those unless oh, you really? unless you've earned it it's like passing over the yes, whole world, right? very much so it's like a piece of plastic wrap gotcha and we sort here. of push it down onto I'll let you do that push the plastic wrap down onto the chicken perfect so the whole idea is just to seal in all that flavor Got it. and then so we'll put this into the fridge for two hours Got so this chicken here has been sitting for uh, just over two, two and a half hours. You could actually do this overnight. So the thing that I really love is when Minnie's shaking the chicken and showing Celia how to prepare fried chicken. And so she used a paper bag. I always thought it was just practicality in the house. It was just one of those things, it was, it was there, you grab a brown paper bag, and it was easy cleanup. So, some flour, some salt, black pepper, cayenne, but not too much, paprika, garlic salt. I think it's, a, it's like this. Whoa! Right, can you smell it? That's nice. That's awesome. So then we take the chicken. Remember to keep the skin on because it's the skin that goes crisp, and that's that when you get that crunch and you. So you get all your pieces of chicken there. Can I have the honors? Do the honors. Yeah, it's like it. Is it like you think it's a certain amount of time? No, I just I want to make sure that all of the. the Let me have a moment. Let's do this together, right? That's it, that's it. Good night. Yep, he did. Respect to the movie, I think it's only fair that we use real shortening for this. This does remind me when my mum would cook when you'd see the lard go in there and then you just watch it start to melt. It's like all dreamy, right? Nice and melted. It's good for you, right, the shortening? <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, they did talk about it in the movie, it'd be good for cracked heels and elbows and just under the eyes. It has multiple uses, but it is not the most healthy thing. You're making this fried chicken, and it in and of itself is not a healthy dish necessarily, mm -hmm. but it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how the film is. Mm -hmm. It is taking a topic that does not taste good going down, but they're packaging it in a way that kind of helps it go down easy. Does it wash over some of the historical context yeah. and some of the real feelings that are there? Are we representing, are you representing the well? history of 1960 and what really went on? Correct. There's a great scene with Adeline in the very beginning of the movie. And they're setting up the dinner, guests are coming over, yeah. and the lady she works for stops and she gives her this look and she knows right away and she slides this dish yeah. over the crack in the table. Remember that? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, and it, knows, it's yeah. just, it's, it's this idea of covering the blemish. Yeah. And it's almost wow. what the film is doing, right? It's yes. just, this is the American history landscape. This is yeah. where we are. Yeah. Here's a prettier Here's a prettier view. version. Here's a prettier version. It's right. there. It's there. But he, you're not gonna see it. Hey, look, our oil's sitting pretty at about. Let's see what we got here. 340 there. Just gonna dance when we oh, put that in there. Here we go. Right. Yeah. Oh, now it's all. Yeah. Doesn't that just get you? It does. It's a beautiful feeling. How long you reckon 
It's got to be in there. Five or six minutes on either side. There was a really cool part in, in the movie, and, and Celia is talking about maybe you should burn the chicken. Right, and to, to throw them off the scent. Throw them off the scent, and Minnie goes, Minnie don't burn chicken. You see that when Minnie uses her skill set, she's a, a fantastic baker and she makes these pies. And she uses that to her advantage yep. to get back at the lady oh, who's, yeah. who's been running things. She had added some very unsavory elements to this pie. <laughs> but it's still, <laughs> it still tasted amazing. It didn't bat an eye, just, just yeah. chomping it down. And she yeah. takes this superpower that she has yeah. and she can use it for good or she can use it for evil. All right, man, it's looking pretty good. See how the bubbles start to yeah. slow down as well? Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> See how the skin sort of does shrink up as well? Yeah. It's That's that. nice. That's golden. Man, when you said you could cook a little bit. Listen, you know, I'm here for you. You know, I just want to make it nice. You got soul food here. Yeah. To cook with love in your heart is a powerful thing. Yeah. And you get to see that with Minnie and Celia when she welcomes her into her home yeah. and provides this dish for her. And on that note, I really think we should eat. Yeah. Do you know what? It's a sharing thing, bud. Get in there. This yes. is yes. Yes. Mm. All right, yeah. You hear that? Mm. You hear that? Mm. That's good. Mm. No. It's a skin, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you're just eating grilled chicken. Yeah. For new episodes, recipes, and more, visit lstudio.com.